Ramadan Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Muslims worldwide observe this as a month of fasting. This annual observance is regarded as one of the five pillars of Islam. The month lasts 29 to 30 days based on the visual sightings of the crescent moon, according to numerous biographical accounts compiled in the hadiths. The word Ramadan comes from the Arabic root Ramda or Ramad, which means scorching heat or dryness. Fasting is fard for adult Muslims, except those who are ill, traveling, pregnant, breastfeeding, diabetic or going through menstrual bleeding. Fasting the month of Ramadan was made obligatory during the month of Shaiban, in the second year after the Muslims migrated from Mecca to Medina. While fasting from dawn until sunset, Muslims refrain from consuming food, drinking liquids, smoking, and engaging in sexual relations. In some interpretations they also refrain from swearing. Food and drink is served daily, before sunrise and after sunset. According to Islam, the thawb, rewards, of fasting are many, but in this month they are believed to be multiplied. Fasting for Muslims during Ramadan typically includes the increased offering of salat, prayers, and recitation of the Quran. In the Quran Chapter 2 Revelation 185 of the Quran states. Thus, according to the Quran, Muhammad first received revelations in the lunar month of Ramadan. Therefore, the month of Ramadan is considered to be the most sacred month of the Islamic calendar, the recording of which began with the Hira. Important dates The beginning and end of Ramadan are determined by the lunar Islamic calendar. Beginning Hillel, the crescent, is typically a day, or more, after the astronomical new moon. Since the new moon marks the beginning of the new month, Muslims can usually safely estimate the beginning of Ramadan. However, to many Muslims, this is not in accordance with authenticated hadiths stating that visual confirmation per region is recommended. The consistent variations of a day have existed since the time of Muhammad. Night of Power Laylat al-Qadr, which in Arabic means the night of power, or the night of decree, is considered the most holy night of the year. This is the night in which Muslims believe the first revelation of the Quran was sent down to Muhammad stating that this night was better than 1,000 months, as stated in Chapter 97-3 of the Quran. Also, generally, Laylat al-Qadr is believed to have occurred on an odd-numbered night during the last 10 days of Ramadan, that is, the night of the 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th or 29th. The Dawoodi Bohra community believe the 23rd night is Laylat al-Qadr. End The holiday of Eid al-Fight marks the end of Ramadan and the beginning of the next lunar month, Shawwal. This first day of the following month is declared after another crescent new moon has been sighted or the completion of 30 days of fasting if no visual sighting is possible due to weather conditions. This first day of Shawl is called Yid el Fight. Yid el Fight may also be a reference towards the festive nature of having endured the month of fasting successfully and returning to the more natural disposition, Fitra, of being able to eat, drink, and resume intimacy with spouses during the day. Practices during Ramadan The predominant practice in Ramadan is fasting from dawn to sunset. The pre-dawn meal before the fast is called the suhd, while the meal at sunset that breaks the fast at the iftar. Considering the high diversity of the global Muslim population, it is impossible to describe typical suhd or iftar meals. Muslims also engage in increased prayer and charity during Ramadan. Fasting Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection, improvement and increased devotion and worship. Muslims are expected to put more effort into following the teachings of Islam. The fast, Psalm, begins at dawn and ends at sunset. In addition to abstaining from eating and drinking, Muslims also increase restraint, such as abstaining from sexual relations and generally sinful speech and behavior. The act of fasting is said to redirect the heart away from worldly activities, its purpose being to cleanse the soul by freeing it from harmful impurities. 
Ramadan also teaches Muslims how to better practice self-discipline, self-control, sacrifice, and empathy for those who are less fortunate. Thus encouraging actions of generosity and compulsory charity, zikat. It becomes compulsory for Muslims to start fasting when they reach puberty, so long as they are healthy and sane, and have no disabilities or illnesses. Many children endeavor to complete as many fasts as possible as practice for later life. Exemptions to fasting are travel, menstruation, severe illness, pregnancy, and breastfeeding. However, many Muslims with medical conditions insist on fasting to satisfy their spiritual needs, although it is not recommended by the hadith. Professionals should closely monitor individuals who decide to persist with fasting. Those who were unable to fast still must make up the days missed later. Suhar Each day before dawn, many Muslims observe a pre-fast meal called suhar. After stopping a short time before dawn, Muslims begin the first prayer of the day, Fajr. At sunset, families hasten for the fast-breaking meal known as iftar. Iftar In the evening, Dates are usually the first food to break the fast. According to tradition, Muhammad broke fast with three dates. Following that, Muslims generally adjourn for the Maria prayer, the fourth of the five daily prayers, after which the main meal is served. Social gatherings, many times in a buffet style, at iftar are frequent, and traditional dishes are often highlighted, including traditional desserts, especially those made only during Ramadan. Water is usually the beverage of choice, but juice and milk are also consumed. Soft drinks and caffeinated beverages are consumed to a lesser extent. In the Middle East, the iftar meal consists of water, juices, dates, salads and appetizers, one or more entrees, and various kinds of desserts. Usually, the dessert is the most important part during iftar. Typical entrees are lamb stewed with wheat berries, lamb kebabs with grilled vegetables, or roast chicken served with chickpea studded rice pilaf. A rich dessert such as lir mat, baklava or kunafi, a buttery, syrup sweetened kadafi noodle pastry filled with cheese, concludes the meal. Over time, iftar has grown into banquet festivals. This is a time of fellowship with families, friends and surrounding communities, but may also occupy larger spaces at mass jiddal banquet halls for 100 or more diners. Charity Charity is very important in Islam, and even more so during Ramadan. Zikat, often translated as the poor rate, is obligatory as one of the pillars of Islam. A fixed percentage of the person's savings is required to be given to the poor. Sadaka is voluntary charity in giving above and beyond what is required from the obligation of zakat. In Islam all good deeds are more handsomely rewarded in Ramadan than in any other month of the year. Consequently, many will choose this time to give a larger portion, if not all, of the zakat which they are obligated to give. In addition, many will also use this time to give a larger portion of sadaka in order to maximize the reward that will await them at the last judgment. In many Muslim countries, it is a common sight to see people giving more food to the poor and the homeless, and even to see large public areas for the poor to come and break their fast. It is said that if a person helps a fasting person to break their fast, then they receive a reward for that fast, without diminishing the reward that the fasting person got for their fast. Recitation of the Quran In addition to fasting, Muslims are encouraged to read the entire Quran. Some Muslims perform the recitation of the entire Quran by means of special prayers, called tarawih. These voluntary prayers are held in the mosques every night of the month, during which a whole section of the Quran, Jews, which is one thirtieth of the Quran, is recited. Therefore, the entire Quran would be completed at the end of the month. Although it is not required to read the whole Quran in the tarawih prayers, it is common. Cultural aspects In some Muslim countries today lights are strung up in public squares, and across city streets, to add to the festivities of the month. Lanterns have become symbolic decorations welcoming the month of Ramadan. In a growing number of countries, they are hung on city streets. 
the tradition of lanterns as a decoration becoming associated with Ramadan is believed to have originated during the Fatimid Caliphate primarily centered in Egypt, where Caliph al muizli Din Ali was greeted by people holding lanterns to celebrate his ruling. From that time lanterns were used to light mosques and houses throughout the capital city of Cairo. Shopping malls, places of business, and people's homes can be seen with stars and crescents and various lighting effects, as well. Penalties of eating in public during Ramadan daytime In some Muslim countries, failing to fast or the open flouting of such behavior during Ramadan is considered a crime and is prosecuted as such. For instance, in Algeria, in October 2008 the court of Biskra condemned six people to four years in prison and heavy fines. In Kuwait, according to Law No. 44 of 1968 the penalty is a fine of no more than 100 Kuwaiti dinars, or jail for no more than one month, or both penalties, for those seen eating, drinking or smoking during Ramadan daytime. In the UAE, Eating or drinking during the daytime of Ramadan is considered a minor offense and would be punished by up to 240 hours of community service. In Egypt, alcohol sales are banned during Ramadan. Other laws concerning Ramadan Some countries have laws that amend work schedules in Ramadan. Under UAE labor law, the maximum working hours are to be 6 hours per day and 36 hours per week. Qatar Oman, Bahrain and Kuwait have similar laws. Origins Origin of the word Ramadan Ramadan, as a name for the month, is of Muslim origin. However, prior to Islam's exclusion of intercalary days from its calendar, the name of this month was Nutik and, due to the intercalary days added, always occurred in the warm season. It is believed that the first revelation to Muhammad was sent down during the month of Ramadan. Furthermore, God proclaimed to Muhammad that fasting for his sake was not a new innovation in monotheism, but rather an obligation practiced by those truly devoted to the oneness of God. Pre-Islamic Observation of Fasting During the Jahiliyyah, that is pre-Islamic period, the Quraysh tribe and the Jews used to fast on the day of Ashura. It marks two important events, the day Noah left the ark and the day that Moses was saved from the Egyptians by God. Ashura may or may not be referring to the Jewish practice of fasting on Yom Kippur. Abu Zanad, an Arabic writer from Iraq who lived after the founding of Islam around 747 CE, wrote that at least one Mandan community located in Al Jazeera, modern northern Iraq, observed Ramadan. Historically, Ramadan comes from the strict Lenten discipline of the Syrian churches. Health Critics Ramadan alters the circadian rhythm and the necessary water supply for humans.